An emotional week for former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Babe Laufenberg and his family. Their son Luke, a tight end at UTEP, recently lost his battle with cancer. KTSM 9's Colin Deaver joins us now. Colin? Tatiana, it was a lengthy battle. For two years, Luke Laufenberg embodied what it meant to be a fighter. He lost his life to a rare form of leukemia, and the response from the football community across Texas has been incredible, from UTEP all the way up to the Dallas Cowboys. KTSM Sports Director Andy Morgan sits down with Babe Laufenberg in a story you'll only see on now. Babe, first and foremost, I know that not only I want to send my deepest condolences to you as well as you know the entire El Paso community, UTEP fans um, across the country. It was pretty amazing to me that uh, he was here for a short period of time uh, at El Paso, at UTEP here, uh, basically about three months, and how he could have made the type of impact that he did that moved Coach Dimmel to skip some of practice on Wednesday to come attend his service and speak at his service uh, was pretty amazing. Um, coaches don't miss practice. It's such a tragedy. It's such, so hard to understand. But I know I will, and anybody who ever knew him uh, will be uh, forever inspired by the life that he lived. When you saw Jason Garrett's press conference, kind of what runs through your head and just the emotion that you saw through, through Coach Garrett? I think it let a whole bunch of people that didn't know Luke uh, find out a little bit more about him, really in, in two minutes. And I've been friends with Jason Garrett for 20 odd years, and so he's known Luke every step of the way. Uh, and Cowboys had a, have a motto, fight, and it's on their sweatshirts and t-shirts, and just says fight. And when he said, I've, I've never seen anybody embody that more in my life, that fighting spirit, than Luke. Um, it really resonated with me, and he did. And the one thing Luke didn't want was pity. Uh, never felt sorry for himself. Um, he got a really bad cancer. We knew from the beginning it was going to be a, a, a tough go. Uh, kind of beat it once, if you will. And that's a, obviously when he kind of got his life and his body back together and was here. And so the relapse um, in April. Uh, was real tough because they, they told us kind of at the start we're kind of going to get one shot at this thing. Really seems like Luke held everyone together with just the attitude and the way that he attacked this. He really was remarkable and I hope everybody would say that about their son or daughter. Uh, quite honestly I would not have said it was remarkable up until he went through this and just seeing the way he approached it and never complained. I mean, he went through some brutal, brutal times. I mean, he went from 240 pounds to 150, um, if you can imagine that and what that looked like. Never complained. It was almost like we, we'd go into the hospital, and he, he literally spent about 100 nights in the hospital um, and just went in like he was kind of going to work or punching the clock. Um, never said, why me? Uh, once again, when we found out he was terminal that was on July 12th um, and they said you basically have two to eight weeks to live and all he said was I just want everything to be normal we went home and he said I want everything to be normal on August 22nd he lost his life what has been your response and kind of your standpoint from what UTEP has done it's been really special and heartwarming and again it's a true testament to Luke that a guy could come in here for three months and have the kind of impact that he did on the coaches, his teammates, uh, the program. Obviously, the city of El Paso had a horrific tragedy here uh, when 22 people lost their lives and uh, others obviously seriously injured. And I felt like our family was with the city of El Paso when that happened. And I, I really felt like the city of El Paso was with Luke and our family um, when tragedy struck us when Luke passed away. Now instead of UTEP retiring Luke's number two jersey, head coach Dana Dimmel says the Miners will create competition among players to win the honor of wearing number two. The Laufenberg family has also set up a scholarship fund in Luke's name. He was just 21 years old. We will be right back.